Well, another story that's the talk of Limerick today is the early exit of Munster from the Champions Cup for just the fourth time in 10 years. And I'm joined now by rugby author Alan English. Alan, uh, Munster are in a difficult group. It's not all doom and gloom, but uh, what does the season hold for them now? Yeah, I don't think anybody really uh, is in huge despair over it because they knew it was an incredibly difficult task from, from the start. Um, they acquitted themselves reasonably well. I think the Munster team of old would have picked up a couple of bonus points on the road, and, and could, which could have made all the difference. Um, so I think it's hugely important now the rest of the season. They've got to go on. They've got to win their conference in the Pro 14 and ideally win the Pro 14. Um, they've got to get momentum for next season because there's a couple of big South Africans coming in next season. A couple of good young Munster players that we saw come on as substitutes uh, in the game yesterday. So things are, you know, things are starting to look positive, but I think how they respond to the uh, early elimination will be, will be massive, Paul. Does it make it extra galling for people here in Limerick and, and all around Munster that Leinster are doing so well, and of course Ulster too? Yeah, look, you hate to see, uh, you know, Munster people hate to see the, uh, the quarterfinals of the Heineken Cup coming around and not being involved, you know. I mean, we've had an incredibly impressive record of qualifying for it, um, you know, since, since, since the uh, early noughties. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it is a sickener. But at the same time, it, it, you know, it, it will be an opportunity for Johan van Graan and the team to sort of regroup. And, um, look, they've got to come out of the traps. They've got to come out of the traps firing now. They've got to... They're, they're, their pro, pro 14 form over, over the last several years hasn't been good enough. Um, this is going to be a big test of him as head coach and of the squad. Well, it's certainly interesting times ahead for Munster and obviously the Six Nations coming up too, so plenty to look forward to. Alan, thanks so much for joining us here this evening. Thanks, Paul.